Construction began back in 2008, but Mazdar, the $22 billion eco-city, isn't expected to be completed until at least 2030. It's not surprising that the world's most high-tech, futuristic city is going to take a little while to finish. The city, located near Abu Dhabi, is a planned hub for innovation, with plans that include driverless eco-friendly vehicles instead of taxis and a futuristic university dedicated to artificial intelligence. There are also eco-villas that use 72% less energy than a regular home and an entire tech park dedicated to inspiring the minds of tomorrow. Here's everything you need to know about Mazdar City. Yes, you heard right, $22 billion is being put towards the development of a futuristic eco-city near Abu Dhabi, and a few kilometers away from the Abu Dhabi International Airport. It's being built by Mazdar, a subsidiary of the Mabadala Development Company, with the majority of the budget coming from the government of Abu Dhabi. When the city's completed, hopefully by 2030, the glorious Mazdar city will be the most sustainable city in the entire world. Designed by the British architectural firm Foster & Partners, the city relies on renewable energy like solar power and spans across only 2.3 square miles of the desert environment, like a sudden mirage rising from the sand. Currently, there are people living in the city. It has about 4,000 sustainable office workers and 1,300 residents, but the goal is to have 50,000 people living upon completion, with over 40,000 jobs and student placements available to attract the people to the growing city. Right now, the streets of Mazdar City are mostly occupied by tour groups coming to check out the eco-hub while it's still under development. With narrow streets made for walking, the city sometimes feels like a futuristic ghost town, but the low-rise buildings packed close together will soon be crawling with people who want to try living a completely sustainable life. Or at least, that's the hope. But there's still a lot of work to be done before Mazdar City can really attract young, environmentally conscious minds and prove that this ambitious urban planning experiment is worth the billions of dollars that are being put into it. In the meantime, this is how the city's sustainability project has been coming together. Each building in Mazdar City is constructed with low-carbon cement and uses 90% recycled aluminum. Each building will also reduce overall energy and water consumption by at least 40% compared to the average in Abu Dhabi, which is one of the most non-environmental mentally conscious spaces in the world and often evokes the image of crude oil, not green city spaces. Each building in Mazdar City must also meet a three-pearl Estadama rating. These pearl ratings are like the leadership in energy and environmental design ratings given out in other places of the world. They aim to give buildings a rated status based on how many sustainable resources they use and how little they consume non-renewable energy sources. A three-pearl rating is comparable to the Leeds Gold International Green Building Certification. The 10 megawatts solar array at Mazdar City was the largest solar project in the Middle East when it first launched in 2009. About 17,500 megawatt hours of clean electricity are produced annually at the facility. This offsets about 15,000 tons of carbon emissions per year, which is the same as taking around 3,500 cars off the road. And speaking of transportation, how do you get around a city that wants zero carbon emissions from vehicles? Fortunately, Mazdar City isn't going to make everyone buy an electric car. Instead, the city has developed some of the coolest public transport you've ever seen. The city is a completely walkable environment above ground, but underground are these awesome driverless transportation pods. This personal rapid transit system is electronic and easy to access. But if that's not your cup of tea, then there's also a shuttle system that can transport up to 12 people, and electric buses and a light rail that can transport people all the way from Abu Dhabi. There are also e-scooters available if you don't want to walk the city streets. If you want to bring your own car, you'll have to park it outside of the city in designated parking areas. Or if you buy a villa or live in one of the city's residences, you might be lucky enough to have your own basement parking garage. The rule is that there's no exhaust smoke on the streets of Mazdar, which is is expected to greatly help the city's air quality, especially when compared to Abu Dhabi. Mazdar City has even found a way to escape the sweltering desert heat. The city's wind tower is a more modern interpretation of the traditional Arabic wind tower or bargio. The 45-meter or 147.6-foot tower is used to create ventilation by capturing cool upper-level winds and directing them to the public square at its base. With residential areas, parks, plazas, neighborhoods, and commercial districts, Mazdar City aims to offer 
offer a high quality of life while being environmentally friendly and commercially viable. It's a lot to ask of a city, but it's trying its hardest to attract people to help with its cause by being a free investment zone, enabling foreigners and foreign companies to own property in the city. This is in the hopes of attracting as many clean tech companies as possible. They also offer education and even have a couple universities so that they can connect education, research, development, and business all within the same futuristic city hub. If the city accomplishes its goals, it could be a successful testing zone for the renewable energy and technology of the future. Mazdar City is also home to the headquarters of the International Renewable Energy Agency, which is a pretty big draw for those clean tech companies the city is trying so hard to attract. But there are a lot more buildings and businesses already opened up within the city that might just sweeten the deal for eco-friendly companies that are still on the fence about relocating. The city's first major building was the Mazdar Institute of Science and Technology, which has been operating in the city since September 2010. The city is also home to the world's first university for artificial intelligence, the Mohammed bin Zayed University of Artificial Intelligence, a graduate-level research institution. There's also a 900-square-meter knowledge center, which opens up to the Mazdar City campus of the Khalifa University of Science and Technology. The Knowledge Center is home of the campus library and has a very distinct roof that provides shade, regulates daylight, and serves to minimize how much cooling the building needs to keep its students from overheating. The building is also one of the city's structures with efficient rooftop solar panels. Crypto Labs is another one of the city's biggest draws for curious young minds. It's a 4,200 square meter facility that functions as an all-in-one business hub. There are affordable co-working spaces for startups and entrepreneurs who are willing to come from anywhere in the world to work on new sustainable tech and futuristic innovations. This type of collaborative event continues with the impressive tech park that's still under development. Made out of 16 recycled shipping containers, it'll offer workspaces, a training center, and even a place where workers can shop for supplies. This is to encourage students and engineers to turn their ideas into real prototypes and products that might eventually be put on the market or even implemented into Mazdar City's growing environment. The park will run workshops on things like carpet and 3D printing and will be filled with state-of-the-art equipment. But of course the whole city won't just be workstations, hubs for innovation and universities. Even the most environmentally minded people in the world have got to have some fun, right? The city also has a mall called My City Center Mazdar. The 18,500 square meter ground floor is home to more than 50 shops, most of which are already opened. But once completed and once Mazdar has a much bigger population, this mall will be the commercial draw of the city, since it's located right at its heart. It's also out Abu Dhabi's most sustainable mall, and you can get everything there from Luluman to Red Tag and dining options such as Pizza Hut, Dunkin' Donuts, and Cinnabon. People in Mazdar also need some interesting places to live, and the coolest of the city's residential options is probably the 405 square meter eco villas that they're willing to make for those interested in moving to the eco city. These sustainable villas use around 72% less energy and 35% less water compared to similar sized villas in Abu Dhabi. The cost of construction is similar to that of a conventional home of the same size, which comes to about $200,000 for a home fully equipped with 87 rooftop solar panels. A four-bedroom property can supply up to 40,000 kilowatts of electricity to the city's national grid. For apartment lovers or those who are more frugal, the city also offers a few residences, especially for students. The Leonardo residences were completed in 2018 and offer 170 residential units. They have amenities like cafes, laundry facilities, and basement car parking, even though you'll only need your car if you plan on leaving the city. Another place to stay is the Mazdar Institute Neighborhood One Residences, which is currently under construction and expected to be completed within the year. The building has more than 800 apartments, offices, and retail space including cafes, shops, and even a supermarket for added convenience. The city is also expected to have a pretty bubbling nightlife. The center for recreation will be the city's courtyard. Think Times Square, but with a lot less people and zero carbon emissions. There will be street side cafes and restaurants and eventually some courtyard activities and maybe even the occasional festival to encourage some mingling within the small city's walls. So these are Mazdar's plans, but will it really be successful as an eco-city? The city has already made some changes to its original plans, like aiming for carbon neutrality and reducing emissions instead of being completely carbon-free. There are also a few things that aren't going quite as well as expected. For one, a lot of the energy used in Mazdar City's construction was actually produced by fossil fuels instead of the city's vast collection of solar panels, which is kind of counterintuitive to the city's whole purpose. And that revolutionary underground personal rapid transit system we mentioned? Yeah, 
They've only completed two stations out of a planned 1,500, and they only recently restarted construction on the project to finally build more. Plus, rather than their goal of reaching about 50,000 citizens by 2018, they've decreased that goal to about 3,500 by 2020, which hasn't been officially met so far, unless you count the city's workers. So the streets might be pretty quiet, but there's still a lot of work to be done to see if Mazdar City can live up to expectations and become the green blueprint for future sustainable innovation. With an emphasis on solar power, reducing carbon emissions, and creating brand new technology to help the environmental future of not only the city, but the entire world, this futuristic eco-city definitely had some good ideas. If Mazdar is successful, it might be the first eco-city of many, which could be an important step forward in improving the state of our planet. Would you consider moving to Mazdar City? Do you think the project will be completed by 2030? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Plus, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to The Richest for more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.